Hi, welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. Today I'll be covering on the topic site columns. So far we have been defining the list and library schemas on the list and library themselves, but these are not reusable. Therefore, if you want to have two lists with the same schema, you would have to define the same schema twice. SharePoint has a solution for this, which is the site columns and content types. So for today's video, I'll be covering on the site columns feature. Site columns define reusable column definitions and content types, which are made up of site columns defined reusable schemas for both lists and libraries. So let's have a look at the simple example in which we'll be creating and using the site columns. So let's go to our contact list from our site contents. So you click on the gear button, go to site contents, and you land up in this page. And then you click on contacts. And let's go to the list settings. All right, now as you scroll down, you'll see a section called columns, right? Now I need to have my content types enabled. So what I do is I go to my advanced settings and then I need to select allow management of content types, select yes, and then hit on the okay button. Perfect, so now I have an additional section called content types that's appeared over here. This indicates that this list is based on the contact content type. So as the next thing, and let's go to site settings now. And then I select site content types, just under web designer galleries, right? So I select on site content types, which is just below the web designer galleries. Perfect. So now, scroll down to the page where I can find the contact content type, which is just below the list content type. So I have the contact here. Let's click on that. So if we take a look at the columns, you will be able to see it matches the columns in our list, right? See here? And uh, basically, when you create a list of contacts list template, it associates with this content type with the list, and that is why you get all of these fields. Now, the fields here that make up the definition of a content type are known as site columns. To see the site columns, let's go to the site contents and select site columns under Web Designer Galleries. Here you go. So select on site columns. Um, you can see the columns that are associated with contacts. So let us explore this a bit further by creating our own custom site column and our own custom content type and then using those in the list. So let's go ahead and create one, right? So I'm gonna click on the create link here and I'm gonna call it as courses. Let's put it as a lookup. And then I can click on a new group called Rookie SharePoint. Let's call it as a new group. And then I click on OK. Now let's click on the old groups. OK, now I have a new group. It's called Rookie SharePoint and I have courses underneath that. That's a new site column, right? Okay, so let's go back to my documents. So this is my course documents, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my library settings, go to columns, right? And what I need to do is Remove this course column. Yep, so I've removed it. So I'm gonna add a new column, right? So I can add it from the existing site columns. I click on that and then I look for courses. Yep. 
and then I press OK. OK, so let's go back to course documents. Here you go. So now I have my new course column because, uh, you know, and it's empty, right? So I actually had my courses which had a lot of information, but it's empty now. It's because just you, because you deleted the original course column, right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a clear understanding of how the site columns work in SharePoint. I'll be coming up with more and more videos. So basically, there's a second part of this video that's the content types that will be releasing soon. So stay tuned to our channel. Have a great day.